हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू वेटनरी स्टडीज यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम मोहम्मद अजहर मेमन इन लास्ट लेक्चर आई हैव डिस्कस डिटेल ऑन स्केपुला बोन टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डेमोस्ट्रेट ईच पार्ट ऑफ स्केपुला बोन ऑन थ्री डी मॉडल सो दिस इज द थ्री डी मॉडल ऑफ अ बोवाइन स्केपुला बिफोर डिमोस्ट्रेशन क्वेश्चन अराइजेज हाउ कैन वी डिटरमाइन द साइड ऑफ स्केपुला आइदर इट इज अ लेफ्ट और राइट स्केपुला Let me clear one more thing. Keep in your mind, supraspinous fossa of scapula bone always at the cranial side of a spine, whereas infraspinous fossa of a scapula bone is always at the caudal side of a spine. So we can determine the side of a scapula by holding the scapula in a such a way the spine should be facing to your eyes. If the supraspinous fossa is at the left side then it is said to be a left scapula If the supraspinous fossa is at the right side then it is said to be a right scapula Moreover we can determine the side of scapula by a spine As I have discussed in my last lecture spine bend caudally at the middle part of the bone If the spine is bending at the right side then it is said to be a left scapula If the spine is bending to the left side then it is said to be a right scapula This is how we can determine the side of a scapula bone If we see this scapula in this scapula supraspinous fossa is at the left side and the spine is bending toward the right side So this scapula is the left scapula of a cattle. Now, demonstration of a scapula bone on the 3D model. As I have discussed in my last lecture, there are two surfaces, three fossa, three angles, three borders, and pair of a tubercle. And tuberosities are present in a scapula bone. All the parts of a scapula are denoted by a numbers. First of all surfaces. There are two surfaces in a scapula bone. Medial surface which is facing toward the body. Lateral surface which is facing away from the body. Fossa. There are three fossa in a scapula bone. At the medial side or medial surface there is a shallow depression called subscapular fossa. Subscapular fossa is the site of attachment of a serratus ventralis muscle. At the lateral surface there is a spine which divide the lateral surface into two fossa. Supraspinous fossa and infraspinous fossa. Infraspinous fossa is the site of attachment of a infraspinous muscle. Angles. There are three angles in a scapula bone. Cranial angle which is facing toward the head caudal angle which is facing toward the tail and ventral angle which is facing toward the body ventral angle is also known as a glenoid angle because it bears a glenoid cavity now borders there are three borders in a scapula bone dorsal border which is facing toward the vertebral column cranial border which is facing toward the head and caudal border which is facing toward the tail now tubercles at the caudolateral part of the scapula bone there is a tubercle which is the site of attachment of a tendon of a teres minor muscle this is the tubercle at the ventral part of a scapula bone above to the glenoid cavity there is a tubercle called supraglenoid tubercle supraglenoid tubercle is the site of attachment of a tendon of a bicep brachii muscle tuberosity at the middle part of a spine there is a large prominence called central tuberosity below to the glenoid cavity there is a large prominence called infraglenoid tuberosity this one is a infraglenoid tuberosity at the end of a spine there is a prominence called acromion this is all about scapula bone 
If you like a 3D anatomy of a scapula bone, give us your kind views in a comment box. Thank you.